Did you grow up in the RP Church? No, I didn't. I grew up in a Roman Catholic family. We went to church every Sunday, celebrated Good Friday, Easter, Christmas. My parents were quite devout. I didn't have any interest beyond just doing what my parents, our parents wanted us to do. And by the time we hit, uh, well, my, I have two siblings, but focusing on myself by the time I was in my mid-teens, my parents no longer required us to come to church with them, so it was optional. And of course, given the green light, I, I didn't want anything no. to do with church. So did they continue on going themselves? They did. My parents mm. remained in the, uh, in the Roman Catholic Church until several months after I came to faith, which I'm sure we'll come to. In my early to mid-twenties, the Lord used uh, my experience to pull my parents out of the Roman Catholic Church and, mm -hmm. and they're worshiping uh, now in, in an evangelical church in oh, Ottawa. That's tremendous. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Yeah. Too, but that's good. Okay. Yeah. So you grew up, went to public school? Went to Catholic school. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then after school, what, what age did you finish school at? Well, I, I graduated uh, what was called OAC back then, grade 13, which I, I don't think they they run in the system anymore here in Ontario, but I did my, my full high school. I took a year off to save up some money and decide what I wanted to do and then applied for college. I didn't have the grades to get into university. I also didn't have the, the desire to, uh, to pursue anything university-wise, mm -hmm. but I knew I had to do something. And, so I applied to two programs in college. One I had an interest in, the other one was a fallback that most people get into. And so it was, in case I didn't get into the one that I had applied for, which was quite competitive, and that was journalism. I didn't get into journalism, so I was accepted rather into the business program uh, in Algon at Algonquin College here. All right, you went to Algonquin. Ottawa. I did uh, for a few years, but in my final year with dwindling grades and a real lack of desire to continue or even complete the program, I looked for work outside of Ottawa, outside of Ontario even, and I, apl I applied for a job in the Rocky Mountains in Alberta in my final year of college and I was accepted, or I, I was hired. And so I never completed my never my completed. college program. Right. So I, I left and moved out to Alberta. It is difficult when you are in a situation where you're not really pursuing a career that you want. That's right. To persist on it. Yeah. It's just difficult. And sometimes, uh, as parents, we want our children just to keep at something for the sake of it. And mm -hmm. It's not always the wisest thing. Mm -hmm. So you went to Alberta. That's I mean, that's not just next door, that's, that's a bit of a distance away. Did you have any relatives or any friends in Alberta? Did you? No, it was, it was a real starting from scratch. It's the first time I had lived outside of uh, my parents' home. And so I, I said goodbye to my family and the, the few friends I had here in Ottawa. And I started, I started afresh in Jasper. And that was part of the reason for for me heading out there in the first place was uh, a desire for a new start yes I had accumulated a lot of dissatisfaction a lot of anxieties a lot of insecurities over the years and I thought it could be uh, an opportunity for me to shed some of those and 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 start start new in life. Oh, fresh. So what was the first, what was that job? I started as a a banquet server. I worked with the banqueting department, and then I was uh, transferred to the to the bar. So I was bartending, and then I was transferred to a supervisory position where I was 
training the bartenders that would be coming in to work for the the resort. We were, I was working on a resort, well-known chain. That's what was going to ask you, was it a... It sounds as if it was uh, Jasper or somewhere where people would go for for their vacations at skiing. It, uh, it is. It's A lot of people would think that that Jasper's high season is is winter because of the the skiing and the snowboarding, but it's actually summer. The the nature, the the beauty. Sur- ja- Jasper's known as the gem of the Rocky Mountains. You have Banff, you have Lake Louise, but Jasper's really been protected and uh, preserved from a lot of the commercialization that's happened in the Rocky Mountains. And so it's it's known, at least it was when I was out there, as the gem of the Rockies. Wasn't as commercialized as Banff. It wasn't as packed. You certainly got tourists, but not as many as the other places. So it was a it was a quieter place to live. And being a national park, much of the beauty was left intact. It must have been a beautiful place to work. I'm uh, not talking about the job itself, obviously, but this the environment must have been a beautiful place to have been. Absolutely, place. you're you're. You're in awe of of the the mountains in particular when you when you move out there. Uh, at least this was my experience. I'm sure it was the ex- it's the experience of many. And like anything in life, we get accustomed to it, and you forget that they're around you until you deliberately remind yourself. And so, several months, I I, I didn't really think too much of it unless I was out hiking or or climbing. And then it was only when I came back to, to the city, to Ottawa, after about two years out there, that I started to miss the mountains, realizing what you ha- had only when, when it was gone. So, but it's certainly a beautiful place. And during, during that time, you had no interest in the things of God at all? No. They were just uh, no an alien world to you? Ali- yep, yeah, alien world to me. I, I had a lot of, interestingly, with all my insecurities and my my discouragement dissatisfactions and fears that had accumulated over the years I still held on to a hope that I could somehow get my life in a better place mm-hmm. and so I had nothing I think the in in two years of, of being there I think there was one one night I had the TV on and there was a televangelist, I don't know who it was of course, but speaking of, of, of hell and I, I didn't want to hear it, I turned it off and then probably the only other religious or Christian related, well Christian related not Christian, but the only other encounter I had out there was with Jehovah's Witness tract that had been uh, dropped off at my apartment door. So as often as the case. So what then brought you back to Ottawa? Did you just have you felt I've, I've done that? I've, I've spread my wings. I've tasted it. And yeah, I, I burnt out. I burnt out physically and mentally. There's not a lot to do out there mm-hmm. in, in the mountains and. So you do a lot of the few things that you can do, which is a lot of a lot of partying, a lot of illicit substances, um, and I just I, I remember one day I, I was I was working and I was just overcome with a, a sense of emptiness, not not spiritually, not. Psychologic, well, psychologically, but but physically as well. Mm-hmm. I said Some, something's wrong with me, and it was a combination of what I was putting into my body, what I was not putting into my body, and uh, the the hours I was putting into work, and the just the lack of of balance uh, in my life that brought me uh, brought me down to. To, to a low place, and I realized I, I needed to, I needed to get out of there, and I needed to look for some stability back home in Ottawa. And it's often the case, isn't it? The Lord's going to work in our lives. He has to bring us to a point. Um, 
Absolutely, and and that's not even the point, point yet. Point. And so, as we talk about it, yeah. and as I talk about it, I, I, it, it's 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 really fascinating to think of the Lord's hand in our lives well before we realize it. But even when we share our testimony with people, we don't necessarily we we start talking about where the Lord started to deal with us yes. because it's where we consciously right. recognize but as I'm talking now, no it goes back much further mm -hmm. than you realize and we know it goes back to the womb yeah. but in terms of God really setting things up in my life to get to the point where he would reveal himself to me in Christ yeah that, that began back there and, but I was humanly speaking still so far from him in my own thoughts well, that's been a, a good start. We'll leave it and pick it up next time. Okay. Thank you.